Throwing numbers like equations Trench talk when you jump up off the porch as a youngin And start posting on the block with the junkies and get it bouncing Hat ghetto mess That's all I gotta say man Hat ghetto mess Listen to me man <laughs> I see this man. I don't. I mean, I'm just lost for words, man. So Sakari, once again, all in the media for all the wrong reasons. First, you get ninth place, last place. They even try to spin it in America and say, "Oh, she wasn't last place." I'm saying it was nine racers, <laughs> and she was number nine. So how are we gonna keep spinning this story, right? So uh, Sakari had the nerve to diss a decorated track and field legend, Alex and Fit Fitness. I don't understand it, man. Now, me personally, man, I don't get it. How can a person that have not accomplished anything, don't got no accolades, don't got no medals, don't got nothing, but continue to get on social media platforms and disrespecting everybody, disrespecting all the Jamaicans, now the Jamaicans, news reporters and all that got their little jokes giving their invitations to go on vacation you know what i mean clear our mind up because evidently something is all the way off there's some screws missing and like i told y'all before man as the lady i listened to what she said she did gave uh shikari richardson nothing but positive vibes all she was saying that everybody needs to stand behind her you know what i mean just encouraging words so for her to take that and, and, and turn it into a ghetto hat mess say it again with me ladies and gentlemen ghetto hat mess now elaine thompson uh shelly ann uh Fra what was it shelly ann frazier uh price and uh sharika jackson you know what i mean blew the socks off of um shikari richardson you know fair and square she got her butt whooped fair and square and for her to be coming at alice felix like this you know what i mean i feel like this is a goddamn gonna shame, man. You know what I mean? I'm just like, Lordy, man. Like, it's crazy because you're seeing all these reports come out of how she don't respect the other track uh, stars in America and all the legends. She ain't giving them no respect, no regards. She don't respect nobody. She don't even respect her own craft or what she do. Because she le last time I checked, she was on the dungeon and got kicked out of the game because she was on the dungeon. You know what I mean? So... Hat ghetto mess, you know what I'm saying? I, I, man, the Sakari thing, man, is listen, man. I see, I said, like I said last time, man, for her to go on that field again and lose, like she can't go race against a bunch of people. Everybody knows she digs garbage. She got to beat one of the Jamaicans, man. Period. Or one of the top runners out here, man. Other than that, man, this Sakari Richardson thing about to get put in the trash can, man. I'm telling you. I'm being real with you, man. I don't give a care how young she is. Like, she take a, she take one more big loss like this again. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, the Jamaicans should pull up to every race she go to. <laughs> no cap, man. Like I said, I don't know about the running too much, but they should pull up to every race because she talking so much smack. I'm like, bro, I'm like, sis, come on, G. Now, for a person to get that embarrassed on national TV, on top of that, your interview was hot garbage. You would think a person would shut the hell up. I have to say it, man. You know what I mean? You, this is a hot ghetto mess. I'm like, can my black sisters pull this girl coattail because this is a hot ghetto mess, man. Hope I'm saying the lady, uh, uh, name right and everything too, man. You know what I mean? But dang, decorated. I seen her with multiple goals on her neck. Tell Shikari with her goals and medals and what, what I say, you dissing legends. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, better enough, you diss, you diss the whole, all the Jamaican chicks. You know what I mean? They got goals and medals. Where is yours at, man? <laughs> Tell me that. Riddle me that story. And nobody stopped you from going to the game. You stopped yourself. <laughs> So everybody that was parading around with this foolishness, she shouldn't have been on the donja. You know what I mean? Put the donja down. Period. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, it's a car Richardson. This, she becoming a joke, man. I just hate to say it. She becoming a big joke. You know what I'm saying? A disgrace, man. This hot ghetto mess, man. What in the world going on out here, man? I don't get it. 
I don't get it, man. How can you be doing all this? This I see if she said something crazy to you, but all she said was encouraging words. She don't got to shake your hand. She ain't got to give you no damn hug. She ain't your damn mama. She ain't got to do none of that. She ain't your mama. She ain't your daddy. She ain't your family member. She's just another athlete that accomplished things that you haven't accomplished. And she was encouraging you, even though you got embarrassed in front of millions and millions of people all over the world. She encouraged you. She don't have to hug you. She don't have to call you. She don't have to do none of that. She ain't obligated to do nothing for you. <laughs> Period, man. Like, well, I don't understand what's wrong with people, man. There's somebody saying that should be acceptable. I just feel like people are just crazy these days, man. Hot ghetto mess. That's what it is, man. <sighs> How's it feel, this man? Listen, don't worry about Shakari. We love you. You know what I'm saying? Shikari is a hot ghetto mess. I don't know if she's going to ever be fixable. <laughs> she she kind of coming off narcissistic to me, man. I hate to say it, bro. Egotistical, just narcissistic type of a woman, dog. She like, something ain't right with her, G. Like, all the way, bro. Like, I don't know, man. I mean, it, it, some stuff people might say are cute, but now it's starting to get to a point where you just looking dis despicable. You just making... When people look at black women and you are the face of everybody, millions of people watching you, you were giving them a bad, bad name, man. Like, you making black women look crazy out here, man. Like, seriously, they already got all these stereotypes about black women. Then you to be so famous, not really the successful in your craft, but famous to be making black women look crazy by downing other black women. And I'm like, come on, G. Come on, G. We got to tighten up. Somebody got to pull a coat to because this is getting ridiculous. I don't want to see an interview where I'm looking at you talk and I'm like, I don't believe nothing she just fucking said. <laughs> sound like Rachel Nichols. <laughs> you sounded like Rachel Nichols out here, man. Your apology sound like Rachel Nichols. And that's why the ESPN got rid of Rachel. She had to go. And like I said before, I told you, look, all that jump stuff, pff, dead. And I told y'all this, man. It's got to be awkward for her to say what she said about one of the queens of the culture and then, like, try to backpedal it with a, with a sorry type of <laughs> apology. On top of that, it was disrespectful in all forms of the fashion. ESPN, the NBA had to get rid of her, man. Nobody was going for that. I told you. got If I was on set with her, it would have been awkward. Like, I'll be like, ah, uh, do she really even like us? Or is she just trying to blend in? And, you know what I mean? Because this sport is mostly African-American. Like, it's fake, man. It's called culture vulture. Like, man, Rachel Nichols, man. Phew, I don't got no words for it, man. She got what she deserved for being the way she is. Racist. You know what I'm saying? That's why we're going to lean into this other conversation, man. Cam Newton come back, return to Cam Newton on Thursday. Everybody know that. And all we keep hearing, Matt Jones, Matt Jones, Matt Jones this, Matt Jones that, Matt Jones the better quarterback, Matt Jones the star. Matt, every white reporter going to say the same damn shit. And I want to tell every white reporter, we know your stigma, your racist. The only reporter you going to get that ain't racist is Max Kellerman. And they got rid of him off the ESPN. Other than that, every time I see a white report, I know what they're going to say. <gasps> Matt Jones. <gasps> Matt Jones again. Uh, Matt Jones again. I'm like, God damn, nigga. Every white reporter going to say Matt Jones. Oh, God damn, man. Every white one. Every Boston uh, uh, goddamn fan going to be Matt Jones this and Matt Jones that. Y'all, but y'all just straight up racist, bro. It's no way in hell Matt Jones is better than Cam Newton. On no type of spec, don't at all. Y'all just racist, bro. <laughs> I'm saying it straight to you. All them Boston fans, racist as hell, bro. Kyrie even said it. I'm looking in his camera saying y'all all racist, bro. Every news person that come on these ESPN, all these platforms, racist, bro. <laughs> like, I, like every, as soon as they get the words out, they go, Matt Jones, Matt Jones. Matt, he ain't that damn good. And y'all gonna see when the fucking real season start. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He's not that damn good, bro. Stop hyping that dumb ass shit up, man. Nigga's not that good. He's definitely not better than Cam Newton, man. That'll be the equivalent of saying Matt Jones is better than Lamar Jackson and Russell Wilson. Get the hell out of here, man. That man is not that good, bro. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? So stop all this fake hype, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just like the great white hype until you get in the ring with a real opponent and get his ass knocked out. Racist people, man. I don't like them. Rachel Nichols, you can say a hundred million apologies. But we all look at you just like we looked at Drew Brees when he said what he said. And I told y'all, Drew Brees is going to get injured that season. And he got injured. Nobody was okay with what he said. He lost his locker room. Really? Everybody fake tried to give him love. But down inside, the black players, they felt offended with what Drew Brees said. Really do. That's why everybody loved Tom Brady. Because Tom Brady understand not to say no ignorant ass shit like that. Right? And Rachel Nichols, you said some ignorant shit. Period. When the fuck have somebody got a job because they were black? <laughs> In America. What? When? How? What state? Where? They got a job because they was black? We, they got black privilege now? Man, get the hell out of here. I hear the white privilege. But black privilege? Is you crazy? When? How? I don't remember that. I don't know when they had that, but yeah, okay, Rachel. <laughs> You're exiting out the door. You know what I mean? We know why. Like I told us before, we're going to keep hearing it. Matt Jones. Matt Jones. Matt Jones. Matt Jones. Every, every report, I'm like, damn, ain't nobody, everybody in Boston. Oh, my God. He got the start. He got the reps with the ones now. He's going to be the hell of a player. <laughs> don't let you. <laughs> I don't see it, man. <laughs> I don't see this shit. You know what I'm saying? But like the respect for the man, I don't see this shit. You know what I'm saying? But like I said before, I get it. He white and y'all trying to ride with him. <laughs> End of the day, I look at this shit as already. All of a sudden, Cam Newton got a test somewhere else and now he can't practice for five days. That was a setup, bro. That was a whole conspiracy. That was a whole setup, bro. They set that whole Cam thing up. The man even came out on the on the sports thing and talked about it. <laughs> Talk about something. Dude, had a little the the UFO junk. You're like, bro, come on, man. The asphalt this junk up there. Look, man, we see through all this stuff, man. <laughs> we know it's racist, bro. Every man, listen, bro. If I can go on every Boston commentator uh, 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 um, video from Boston and they all say Matt Jones, I gotta say they racist, bro. Because there's no way you watch it, Cam Newton, and you keep saying Matt Jones, bro. You racist, bro. You know what I'm saying? You just pure racist. I know it. I know, bro. Like, if I'm on the phone with you or we on the live video, I'm, I'm, I'm calling you out, bro. You a racist, bro. I'm a straight tell you. You a racist, bro. I'm telling you, man. There's no way you every reporter saying the same thing, bro. That's straight up racist, bro. And y'all know it, bro. Know it 100%. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, come on with all this cap stuff, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, 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 I mean, like I say, I believe Kyrie. I'm a Kyrie fan. I believe everything Kyrie was saying about it being racist in Boston, man. I believe him. I don't believe he lying about nothing. But I believe him. That's why he stumped all on the Celtics. Um, uh, <laughs> Kyrie so disrespectful. Kyrie just stumped all on the, uh, the Celtics. Uh, <laughs> Logo and everything, nigga. <laughs> that nigga start. That nigga moonwalk on the Celtics logo. You know what I'm saying? It, it's racist, bro. I see what they doing with the Cam Newton thing. And I don't like it, bro. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I don't like that racist stuff. Just like I ain't like that Rachel Nichols stuff, man. I'm like I said, I, like, I, I ain't gotta speak too much on it. They let her go. You know what I mean? She, they already knew that nobody was going for it. <laughs> and just like I said right now with this Matt Jones thing, this thing looking weird. Like, how the heck all of a sudden he the only player that get into this type of situation? That don't sound suspicious to you or strange that Cam Newton, out of all these players, they got rules and regulations. He got permission for the team to lead to go somewhere, and then he come back. They say he can't come back in, 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 um, in five days because he got a test with another uh, 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 company or whatever. But yet, nah, bro. <laughs> Y'all save it, bro. That stuff race, bro. They they trying to do that now. All oh, this Matt Jones and Matt Jones looks so good against New York. Matt Jones and Matt Jones and Matt Jones and Matt. I'm like, bro, how many motherfucking times? I mean, I've seen like 30 videos with Matt Jones. <laughs> I say, bro, y'all niggas is terrible, man. And nobody saying nothing good about Cam. It's just, it's forced for them to say something good because they know everybody like real people like me gonna say y'all, I already see y'all racist, bro. 
<laughs> I just see, I see right through you, bro. Like you all the way, bro. Like I couldn't even commentate with guys like that. Cause I see right through them. They racist piece of trash, man. Period. <laughs> they trying to sabotage them, man. Like I say, in Boston is, the, is probably the worst play. Wor Boston is the worst play place for African American players to play. Period. It just is, bro. It's the worst place for African American players to play. And being a quarterback, which they used so used to Tom Brady, gonna be the worst place for Cam Newton to be at. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just too much race start. He like if Matt Jones started, I wouldn't be surprised. And then not off no ability or none of that, just off race. <laughs> Straight up. Now white privilege, Richard, Richard Nich uh, Nicholson and all of that. Yeah, that's that's known white privilege, not no black privilege. That don't even exist. You know what I'm saying? Factual. <laughs> that don't exist. But this whole camp thing, white privilege, you might see Matt Jones start the first game because of that. You know what I mean? Oh, he, we, 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 we okayed him to go all the way to New York and Philadelphia somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And we, we gave him a okay. And now there's a misunderstanding for five days. Bro, stop it, G. <laughs> stop it, man. I'm out of here, man. Listen. Hot ghetto mess. Say it again. Hot ghetto mess with this, man. I can't believe it, G. Hey, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit that like button. And when you hit that notification bell, it will always let you know every time that I upload new content.